Hey everyone, it's Lori from Pure Imagination and it is time for In My Mailbox. I didn't do one last week because it was Christmas, of course. So I have a lot of books and uh, most of them I bought with Christmas gift cards and birthday gift cards and things like that. Um, so I'm just going to get to it because I don't want to bore you because like I said, there's a lot. I only had one for review. But it's a really awesome one, Fever by Lauren DiStefano, and I'm going to read it probably in the next week or so because I can't wait. I really liked um, Wither. I didn't like love it, but I really liked it, So, but I'm, I'm excited about that. It also came with these really cool tarot cards, and they're ginormous, but they all say things on the back. This one says... I guess it's backwards, but it thinks all of the wonderful people and bloggers that that did some that supported Wither, which I thought was neat. Um, and that is the only one for review. But I got a lot of gifts and a couple of random acts of kindness um, from Candace at Candace's book blog. She sent me Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. And I really want to read this. I've heard really good things about it. And I think I'll like it. This was a birthday present. So thank you, Candace, for that. I can't wait to read it. She also sent this really cool Harry Potter um, bookmark, which is an owl. And I love owls. And it's so cute. Um, Angela, remember the mystery package from a couple of weeks ago? from Angela that I couldn't open until Christmas. Well, I opened it and it was Like Mandarin by Kristen Kier yeah, Kirsten, yeah, Kirsten, yeah, Hubbard, whatever. I'm tired, it's late. And I've heard really, really, really great things about this. So I'm looking forward to reading it. Soon, probably. I've been on a very big contemporary kick lately. So that was, Oh, one Christmas gift from my mom. I never get books for Christmas from family, but my mom got me the Breaking Dawn special edition in the box. <clears throat> I have the others. I have, I have Twilight and New Moon. I don't have Eclipse, and I'm really going to have to get Eclipse now so that I have the complete collection. But they're really nice. I know people hate on Twilight, but these are really nice, and I can't help but want them when I see them. And it's fakely signed, but it's still cool, and they're pretty. And they have a bookmark, too. But I have to order a clip soon, so I have a complete collection. Also, ran two random acts of kindness from Adam at Roofing Reader. He sent me Ashfall by Mike Mullen. And I've heard really good things about this, too, so I'm excited about it. And it's very nice looking in person. And my other random act of kindness was on Kindle, and my Kindle is dead. See, I'm getting the scary message. I don't know why everything's backwards. This is on my phone, and I don't know how to switch it around so that things aren't backwards. So, sorry about that. But anyways, um, my random act of kindness was... Um, Ordinary Beauty by Laura Weiss, which sounds good, and it has a really pretty cover. And that was from Barbara, so thank you, Barbara. And, oh yes, one more gift. Angela at Reading Angel bought me this for my birthday, which is a really cute Harry Potter necklace. And it says, I solemnly, solemnly swear I am up to no good. And it came in a cute little bag that the cats have been trying to steal from me. Okay. And I also got some swag um, from Michelle Zink. I got a magnet and a card that says Happy Holidays and stuff. Which I thought was really nice. There was also a candy cane in it, but I ate that. Um, now all the books that I bought, I'll just go through them quickly. Hopefully. I bought Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly, which I've heard awesome things about, and I really like this new paperback cover. I also bought 
um, how it ends by Laura Weiss. This was on the bargain shelf at Books A Million for $3.97, which is of course backwards and I again I apologize. But I haven't read any of her books yet and I've heard amazing things about them so I'm going to have to read that soon. Also off the bargain shelf I bought The Comeback Season by Jennifer E. Smith, which I just read um, The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. And I really liked it, so I thought I would really like this one too. I also bought The Hobbit, and that is my New Year's resolution, as it has been for the last three years probably, to read these books. But this year I'm going to do it because The Hobbit comes out next December, and I have to read them. So I'm going to read The Hobbit, and then I'm going to read All the Lord of the Rings. I'm going to do it also bought Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler and Mara Kalman. Um, if you haven't saw this in a store, I will show it to you because it is gorgeous. Really, I, I mean, I had thought it sounded good, but once I saw it in the store, I knew I had to have it because it has pictures. Every page in the book is like super glossy and then there's pictures everywhere in it. And I don't know what any of them mean because I'll have to read the book. But it's really... Oh, I just hit myself with it. It's really nice and I can't wait to read it. And it's really heavy. And all of the, the this stuff on the back is like little blurbs about their breakup stories from famous authors. Like Sarah Zar and Holly Black and David Levithan. And they're all really cute. So I'm really excited to read that. And also the, um, I said I was going to get through this quickly and I'm rambling, I'm sorry. But the book itself looks like really good. See, it's got flower petals on it. I can't wait to read it. It sounds fantastic. And uh, I also bought Saving Francesca by Melina Marchetta. I don't know if that's how you say her last name, but that's how I'm saying it. Which I've heard really awesome things about. And I loved, there was a flyby kitty again. I loved, loved, loved Jellico Road, so I'm excited about this. And when I ordered it, it was that regular cover that you see on Amazon with the that's all like cartoony. And when it showed up, it was this, and I was very surprised. But I like this cover; it's nice. Also bought um, the Outlaw Outlaws of Sherwood by Robin McKinley. I really love Robin McKinley books, and I really love retellings and I really love Robin Hood so I think that I will adore this book. Um, I'm gonna read more fantasy in 2012 so Robin McKinley is one of the authors that I'm gonna read a lot of I think. Um, and one more this is the very last one. I also bought Wolves Bo yes, Wolves, Boys, and Other Things That Might Kill Me by Kristen Chandler. I finished this one this morning. It was cute. It was, wasn't was amazing, but it was cute. It was a good fast read. Um, when I saw, I really liked the hardback cover of this book, but when I saw the um, new paperback cover in the store, I had to have it. And it really annoys me that everything is backwards on this phone. But I'm sorry. So, I'm pretty sure that that is all for me, unless I'm forgetting something. She's been antisocial, huh? Um, but I hope you guys had great holidays, and I hope you have a great New Year's Eve. And I hope you had as many books as I have, and more. So, bye!